Hey, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome. Welcome to my channel. Uh, permission to live in the end, inspired by Neville Goddard. I wanted to uh, stop by today and actually share a story with you. I'm going to actually read to you the Isn't It Wonderful story that... Um, uh, let me just give you a little bit of background. I joined a challenge, uh, what, a year ago? Uh, Isn't it wonderful challenge that was hosted by an incredible young lady. Uh, her name is Ken Dacey. I don't know how to pro pronounce her last name. I think it's Thoth, T-H-O-T-H, -T I believe. And um, she uh, hosted a challenge that uh, turned out to be such an incredible um and wonderful inspiration in my life. It actually, during that challenge, during the Isn't It Wonderful Challenge, I ended up creating this, this uh, Permission to Live in the End channel and didn't even realize I had done it because I was so in the flow of this Isn't It Wonderful energy um, that I want to share with you today so that you can uh, apply uh, isn't it wonderful? The affirmation and statement, isn't it wonderful uh, to your life? And remember, uh, you know, during times that you might not be feeling so hot that day, um, times where you're feeling like you might be having difficulty manifesting uh, certain things, uh, just there are so many different times that you can call upon the affirmation and statement, isn't it wonderful, um, that you'll understand that as you're applying, isn't it wonderful in your life? But I want to stop by and share the story today because, um, and I didn't know I was going to read guys. I just decided that's it. I'm jumping out. I'm sharing. I don't care. So if you uh, come on this live um, and you, you know, happen to be here, sit back, relax, grab your favorite drink. I'm going to relax as you am not too long ago and went and got my favorite um, vanilla chai latte. So uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever part of the world you're in, welcome. <laughs> Take a little sip. Um, because I am going to share the Isn't It Wonderful story. And like I said, I didn't plan on doing this. So bear with me. Um, and uh, as I am reading the story, which comes from Neville Goddard's The Law and the Promise, um, you know, I'll stop every once in a while, look at the chat, you know, see if you guys have anything that you want to share. Um, I've, you know, as I do lives, my, you know, bottom line is as long as you're engaging is as long as this live is going to go. So utilize this opportunity. Uh, welcome to my channel, Permission to Live in the End. I am so glad that you're here. Thank you for supporting my channel, inspired by Neville Goddard. Let's go, let's get into the reading and let's do this and find out what Isn't It Wonderful is all about. Um, so it starts with uh, chapter seven, which is entitled Moods. And there's a quote by Sir Winston Churchill fortunes of people rather than the fortunes decide the mood, Sir Winston Churchill. Men regard their moods far too much as effects and not sufficiently as causes. Moods are imaginal activities without which no creation is possible. We say that we are happy because we have achieved our goal. We do not realize that the process works equally well in the reverse direction, that we shall achieve our goal because we have assumed the happy feeling of the wish fulfilled. Mood not only the result of the conditions of our life, they are also the causes of those conditions. So we, we're about to learn a lot right here. In the, the psychology of emotions, Professor Ribbit writes, an idea which is only an idea produces nothing and does nothing. It only acts 
if it is felt, if it is accompanied by an effective state, if it awakens tendencies, that is to say, motor elements. The lady in the following story, I'm getting excited right now. The lady in the following story so successfully felt the feeling of her wish fulfilled, she made her mood the character of the night, frozen in a delightful dream. Most of us read and love fairy tale tales, but we all know that the stories of improbable riches and good 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 fortune are for the delight of the very young. But are they? I want to tell you of something unbelievably wonderful that happened to me through the power of my imagination. And I am not quote unquote young in years. So anybody, anybody out there who has the excuse that you're too, too old or this, that, or the other, this, this uh, lady story is about to knock whatever you're saying right on out the box. So just forget about it. Uh, we live in an age which believes in neither fable nor magic. And yet everything I could possibly want in my wildest daydreams was given to me by the simple use of what you teach, that imagining creates reality and that feeling is the secret of imagining. At the time this wonderful thing happened to me, I was out of a job, had no family to fall back upon for support. I needed just about everything. To find a decent job, I needed a car to, uh, to look for it. And though I had a car, it was so worn out, it was ready to fall apart. I was behind in my rent. I had no proper clothes to seek a job. And today it's no fun for a woman of 55 to apply for a job of any kind. My bank account was also depleted and there was no friend to whom I, I could turn. I, I just wanna stop for a minute and say, did y'all hear all of that? Did you hear all of the perceived odds that were against this lady uh, before she, goes on to share what she's about to share. So, you know, a lot of people who are gonna, who might be here right now, who are going to see this video, this experience is about to share with you that no matter how many odds that you might have against you, or your perception is that the odds are against you, that there are answers to your desires being fulfilled. So I'm going back. So she says, but I, I had been attending your lectures for almost a year and my desperation forced me to put my imagination to the test. It forced her to do it. She said, that's it. I don't have nothing else. What do I got to lose? You know what I mean? What do I have to lose? So Indeed, oh, oh, I didn't even know it was gonna say this. Indeed, <laughs> it was natural for me, I suppose, to begin by imagining myself having everything I needed. But I needed so many things and in such short order that I found myself exhausted when I finally got through the list. And by the time, um, and by that time, I was so nervous, I couldn't sleep. One lecture night, I heard you tell of an artist who captured, quote unquote, the feeling or quote unquote word, as you called it, of isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful? It had an excl exclamation behind it in his personal experience. I began to apply this idea to my cause. Instead of thinking of and imagining every article I needed, you know, the car, the clothes, the job, the this, the that, I tried to capture the feeling that something wonderful was happening to me. Not tomorrow, not next week, but right now. I would say over and over to myself as I fell asleep, 
Isn't it wonderful? Something marvelous is happening to me now. And as I fell asleep, I would feel the way I would expect to feel under such circumstances. I repeated that imaginary action and feeling for two months. So wait a minute, let me stop right there and go on over here to say she wasn't no quitter. She didn't pick this up and then put it down. She said, you know what? I don't have nothing else to lose. I got too much that I need to have manifested in my life. So she did not quit. It said night after night after night, she did this falling off to sleep. And frankly, guys, who wouldn't, who wouldn't do that if, if, uh, other than you're doing that is going to leave you feeling worried, feeling frustrated, feeling scared, angry, depressed, all of these other feelings. So why wouldn't you hold on to, isn't it wonderful? Okay. So I'm going back. Uh, da, 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 da. Now that I, now that I started running my mouth, wait, hold on. So I repeated the imaginary action and feeling for two months, night after night. And one day in early October, I met a casual friend I hadn't seen for months who informed me he was about to leave on a trip to New York. I had lived in New York many years ago and we talked of the city a few moments and then parted. I completely forgot the incident. So not only did she have the, this conversation, but she forgot. Okay, one month later to the day, this man called um, at my apartment and simply handed me a certified check in my name, wait a minute y'all, for $25,000. Okay, I'm not going to stop and run my mouth right now, even though I feel like it. After I got over the initial shock of seeing my name on a check for so much money, the story that unfolded seemed to me like a dream. It concerned a friend I had not seen nor heard from in more than 25 years. This friend of my past, I now learned, had become extremely wealthy in those 25 years. Our mutual, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It, this said, this friend of my past, I now learned, had become extremely wealthy in those 25 years. This reminds me of when Neville says that regarding whatever it is your desire is, it doesn't matter if it takes um, uh, the bridge of incidents to move billions of people. I don't know if he said billions. I think he did. Billions of people to move around in their realities in order to somehow um, assist you with your desire. It doesn't matter how many people it takes. That's what's going to happen. So this is why we don't need to worry about a thing because we don't know what the heck's going to happen in order to uh, the bridge of incidents that begins to occur in order for us to have our desired outcomes manifested. But whomever needs to be moved. So this person was being moved all this time. The one that the person had not seen that this young lady had not seen for 25 years in the meantime was becoming wealthy. Do you all hear what I'm saying? Okay. Our mutual acquaintance who had brought the check to me had met him quite by accident, and we know it wasn't no accident, during the trip to New York last month. During their conversation, they spoke of me, and for reasons I was not to know, and then in, uh, in um, Parentheses, it says, for to this day, I have not heard from him personally and have never attempted to contact him. This old friend decided to share a portion of his great wealth with me. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Um, I'm just checking to see if there's any. OK, you guys aren't saying nothing, but OK, OK, cool. For the next two years, 
from the office of his attorney. I received monthly checks so generous in the amount they not only covered every ne necessary requirement of daily living, drum roll, imaginary drum roll, but left much over for all the lovely things of life. A car, clothes, a spacious apartment, and best of all, no need to earn my daily bread. Um, wait a minute, let me see. This past month, I received a letter and some legal papers to be signed, which provide the continu continuation whoa, of this monthly income for the rest of my natural life. I'm stopping there. Um, I don't know what, what more needs to be said. <laughs> this is the power. This is the power that is possible. If you decide that you are going to take the challenge to begin to collect in your mind all of the things that you're saying that you want, because this can become overwhelming. And this is what the young lady, I believe her name was Tika, uh, is sharing. This is what she's saying. She's saying, I had so much going on, on it was overwhelming. I didn't want to, it was too overwhelming to try and imagine and think about this here and this and this and this that she heard what Neville said in one of his lectures and decided to take that upon that challenge upon herself and utilize the affirmation. Isn't it wonderful? And I'm going to pause right here because if you're, if you're listening to me right now, say it right now and begin to feel inside of your body, how your body's neurology begins to change. As soon as you start to say, isn't it wonderful? You might not know what the heck is wonderful, but is it wonderful? Your body's neurology starts changing automatically. And, and this, um, what has happened for me is I went from, and many people who have been utilizing this affirmation, went from it just being general and just saying, isn't it wonderful, to really honing in on some specifics. So you can do this as well. Isn't it wonderful that I don't work anymore at all and uh, hundreds or thousands of dollars come in for me daily, effortlessly, without me having to work at all? Isn't it wonderful that I lost weight and didn't have to be pondering it in my mind. You know, whatever it is, and I'm, I'm looking kind of fuzzy there, I guess, because I'm moving around. But whatever it is that is worrying you, that has you feeling overwhelmed, assume that, collect it all up inside of this isn't it wonderful affirmation and utilize this affirmation on a regular basis. That means don't, you know, put it down and you don't have to just do this at night. This is another thing that I learned over time. You don't have to just do this at night, falling off to sleep. However, that is, as far as I'm concerned, it is the easiest. You can't get more easy <laughs> utilizing something, an affirmation like that as you're falling off to sleep and allowing whatever is going to take place as you are sleeping. How can anything get any easier than that? What What's easier? What is easier than that? What is easier than affirming to yourself as you're falling off to sleep right during that state, that theta state, which is a natural state that human beings go into right before they're falling off to sleep and right as they're waking up. What is easier than you're affirming to yourself? Isn't it wonderful? 
And you can also, if you, if that feeling of, um, you know, isn't it wonderful, uh, doesn't come over you with that phrase, you can say, isn't it miraculous? Isn't it incredible? That's my favorite. Isn't it incredible? Isn't it marvelous? Whatever the wording is that will allow you to move into the state as immediately as the end of, isn't it wonderful phrase, you are able to do that. You are able to do that. So I just had to, because I was in the gym earlier and I was on the uh, elliptical machine doing my thing. And then I got on the treadmill and I started saying, isn't it wonderful that dot, 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 whatever, whatever came to mind. And as whatever my desired outcomes were, what my desired outcomes are, but in the tense as if they've already been fulfilled. So isn't it wonderful that, and then, you know, begin to think about what, whatever your desires are, but in the tense that they have already been fulfilled. So you want a car? Isn't it wonderful that, you know, I went on vacation, I've been on vacation, you know, driving in this car that, you know, whatever, whatever. I can't come up with your desires. You come up with it. <laughs> but I just like to provide some example and feeling regarding the, and isn't it wonderful um, statement, uh, affirmation, question. And I just wanted to stop by today and share this with you because like I said, I was in the gym doing my thing. And by the time I got on that treadmill and I was affirming, isn't it wonderful for the various things that I now feel the experience of already because I'm already affirming that they are wonderful already in the state of being as if those things have already been fulfilled. I feel as wonderful as I was affirming that I do feel in this moment. So I just wanted to stop by and share this energy with you, um, share the story with you. So you can look at this video over and over again. And I'm hoping that my, my theatrics and my vibration and my tone and everything that I was doing as I was reading is as impactful and inspirational to you as you are listening to the story over and over again and reminding yourself isn't it wonderful? I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to stop this live stream and I will see you guys on the next video. Have a wonderful day.